Me and Zach just got in the blind after uh, we smoked two birds. Uh, they might be getting wise to us over here. Um, we're gonna give it this afternoon, see what happens, and um, see if any birds comes through. Yeah, it's not too not too excited about tonight's hunt. Don't really have too uh, high hopes for it, but uh, you never know. Something might just get him. Posted up for probably about four hours now. Still got about three hours of daylight left, and uh, it's been raining the whole time, and there isn't anything going on. Um, this is probably the longest I've ever sat in the state of Nebraska and haven't seen a turkey. Uh, was covered up with them this morning and yesterday morning, and uh, now nothing. Just uh, just rain and a couple deer here and there. And, that's it, man. Hopefully Bush and uh, Hubbard are having a little better, a little better time than we are. It's all right, boys and girls. It's day two, right here in Nebraska. JR filled a tag yesterday. Jimmy filled a tag this morning. It's my turn today. My turn. So uh, hang with us, see what happens. We're in the right spot, feeling good about the blind. Yeah, anything wild, gonna make it happen. had a nice group come right into us. Uh, I picked out the one with the biggest rope on him, center punched him, so uh, he didn't go down on film. We was hoping to get him down on film. Uh, looked like a great shot. He kind of went up over the hill, so we're gonna sit here and hold tight. Uh, we're gonna get, uh, switch it up, give JR the bow, and I'm gonna take the camera and see if we can't get another group to come in right here. But uh, I got one down in Nebraska. Yeah, here we go.
after sitting in the blind for about five hours, we finally seen some birds. They uh, stayed a little bit out of range. Well, quite a, quite a ways out of range. Crossed the fence up there about 100 yards and uh, went out into the flats, fed for a couple hours, came back through, and now they're headed to roost. So I think we're gonna move the blind up there. Um, all these birds keep uh, keep going, like wherever they're coming from, they all cross the fence right there. It's what we've seen anyways the last couple days. So sure enough, I guess that's probably where we need to be to try to try to knock down uh, number three on this trip. But uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that we're done for the night. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, yeah, I think we spoke too soon, man. We might have some birds coming. Yeah, they're coming down the hill. Nice. Coming nice. down the hill. All right, we're, we're game on, baby. Let's do this. Come on. I just missed that bird by about five feet. I mean, Jack couldn't figure it out. Um, went back and watched the footage. The arrow was going head over heels through the air. I hit something. I hit the blind, maybe. I hit, maybe it, there's not very many limbs. There's, I mean, there's a couple of twigs, but I don't think I would have done it. I don't know if my rest, my fall away rest didn't fall down when I, when I let go. Something happened. And uh, yeah, wasn't even close on that shot. <laughs> Gave them a little scare right before they went to bed. There's one bird. <laughs> There's two birds. Oh yeah. You see that? <laughs> two birds at one time. Doubled up. Both of us. That's your bird. <laughs> You know how far? Missed him. Of the two Jakes that we shot, JR's bird jumped up after laying there for like a minute and a half and just walked off. So uh, I think uh, we're gonna go try to do a track job. All right, we just got out of the blind. One of my birds is laying right over here. It's the one we doubled up on at the same time. It's a little Jaker, so let's go check him out. There it is, little Nebraska Jake. Could, we couldn't pass it up, man. It was just too perfect. We had to pull the double. Uh, even though they're Jakes, hey, I ain't ashamed. I'll shoot a Jake, I don't care. I'm out of state trying to kill some birds, and we did it, two of them. 
So uh, we got to track up this next bird. I still got a tom laying out here as well. So we got some work to do. Here he is. This is the first bird I shot today out of the blind. Pretty good tom here, probably a two year old bird. Uh, but I tell you what, you know, we took this bird and I was fortunate enough to uh, be involved with a double kill. At the same time with my good buddy JR, we took a couple jakes. So that's three birds, one blind, one afternoon. Cannot believe it. Probably never have another hunt like it. So uh, y'all stay with us here in Nebraska. We got a couple more tags to fill. Let's see what happens. Is anything wild? All right, guys, we're here in Nebraska and it's actually the third morning. You guys saw us shoot last night. We doubled up on Jake's. One of them actually did a death flip, the one I shot. We, we were celebrating, looked out, and couldn't believe our eyes. The one I shot got up and just walked off like nothing ever happened. So we kind of freaked out and sit for a little bit, let it, let it get a little bit of time. We went out, glassed over the big ravine, saw him walk up by a pine tree. We just let him go. We just let him lay there. We didn't want to push him or nothing. We're back. We're pretty sure we know where he's at. Let's go with this and see what happens. Nice, Jake. Makes it even nicer. Me and Matt doubled at the same time out of the blind. First time in my life ever. Probably the last time that'll ever happen. I guarantee you one of the best hunts I've ever had here in Nebraska with anything wild. <laughs>